2014. Okay, so for a year and a half, you're with another man, correct? Correct. Not for a full year and a half because Basically, there was months and months you, in between there. I didn't but you do did, anything. But you did fuck him, correct? Correct, but not. Did you fuck him? You asked me that question. How many already. times? What do you mean? How many, how many times? times? All together. Thirty, forty. Okay, and. But it wasn't in two thousand fourteen. Okay, all right. and then after my father died, how many times? Six, seven. You asked me that question already. Thank you. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Trey back in, hit you with a video. This video right here is about a cheating ass wife who loves to get down and dirty behind her husband's back. Now, a lot of you all may be thinking, well, Trey, why do she cheat on her husband? Well, she didn't give too many excuses other than the fact that uh, she was basically trying to question him about him questioning her about why is it that she is cheating the way she's doing it she's not cheating you know one time is bad enough you know and I don't understand why guys you know if you catch a woman cheating and you know she's been cheating you know what I'm saying whether you smell the scent on her or whether you happen to pull them drawers down and you see you know the stuff down there's a little you know it ain't wet how can I say it? it's bust all open and everything you, you can't you can't even follow that or none, you know what I'm saying, so that means she must have been doing something, either she got a huge ass uh, bullet or a rabbit, or you know, you know uh, John Michael or Michael Brookshire from down the block or, you know, her job or whatever, probably been doing a little, uh, laying hands on her, as they say, in a church house, now, I don't understand why would a person, you know, grill somebody that long and tell them, you know, like, basically, like, why did you cheat on me, uh, how many times was it well after my dad died because if you listen to the video because i'm trying to put the video in and i'm having trouble doing that but anyway the link will be in the description but you can hear the guy clearly say well after my dad died how many times did you uh cheat on me then she said six or seven so she said six or seven just add six or seven together and you'll get 13 so 13 times at least so 13 to uh maybe 19 times after her father died so in all we're looking at about 47 times and all so if she said 47 most likely it's more like about uh 77 because you got to add some extra number because nobody's going to tell you the truth how many sexual partners they have and i don't know why people do that like if you've been with somebody or you, you with them right now. You can look at them right now. They probably getting uncomfortable walking out the room or saying, well, damn, I wish that guy shut up. You know, they want me to shut up when I'm talking about uh, relationships or stuff like that. But anything else, man, you go, boy, tell them, tell them, tell them. But anyway, now, if your spouse done told you that she only had sex with uh, three, four guys in her whole life, nine times out of ten, that's a damn lie. And she knows it's a damn lie. And those who's listening to this video are probably laughing right now. Like, that boy is so crazy. Yeah, she's telling a hot face ass lie because she know damn well she done had way more than three or four guys in her damn life. You feel me? Most girls, by the time they got damn 15, done had at least, shit, the way these people are these days, about five or ten at the least. And that's and that's even uh, giving them a break. You feel me? Now, if you really want to be technical about it, it's a lot more than that. So by the time you get that, by the time you get this woman, it's that thing all used up, ain't no good, loose as a goose, you see what I'm saying? So it won't do you a bit of good trying to follow that Oregon Trail anyway. But I don't understand why people lie about the most natural thing on earth. If you're going to have sex with someone outside of your relationship and y'all husband and wife say you violate, you violating your oath to each other, you took an oath to each other, you know what I'm saying, to love one another you know what i'm saying you don't supposed to commit adultery you don't supposed to fornicate and all that you feel what i'm saying and i'm not trying to sound all tdj's religious creflo doll on you i'm just giving you the facts if you're going to be with somebody be with that person because you love that person wholeheartedly and like i said in the last video why do people still have to cheat you see what i'm saying just go get on your get, just go get your own place and do your own damn thing and you ain't got the answer to nobody until you get a disease then you gonna have to answer to the doctor then depends on what kind of disease it is you're gonna have to answer to the law when you be up in the upper room yeah but anyway so if you want to take those kind of chances with your life and pretty much put yourself in these positions where you might end up on somebody gurney on a table because you don't got the uh, bull head claps or you don't got the the Urshifa, uh herpes, you know, go right ahead. So 
be careful out here when you mess with all these different people because I guarantee you, it wasn't the same guy she was screwing. If she's screwing that many times over her husband, trust me, she didn't, she 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 having sex with anything that ain't tied down. She hopping right on it. You feel what I'm saying? She do not care. We could call her Spreader. Her name is Spreader, and the guy that's talking to her, her his name is Sucker because he got to be a damn sucker to sit up here and ask her continuously. And she done, she telling she up here telling you flat, you know, right to your face. That she's cheating with all these people. Why keep asking her how many times? How many times? You ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself worse. And why do people do that when they be in a relationship? See, that's let you know. That's a little love right there. Because when you, when you love someone, you feel what I'm saying? Your feelings get involved. And when your feelings get involved, you know what I'm saying? You don't want nobody to take play with your feelings. Because you might end up uh just, you know, just pow, pow. You know, I'm just slapping the shit out of somebody because of the stuff like this. Or even worse, you know what I'm saying? That's why we see people on TV, you know what I'm saying? Dead or house burnt up because you playing with people and a lot of people ain't gonna take it laying down you know like the next man would me personally if i you know if i had to go through that i'd be like okay you know what you got that you got that now i'm gonna show you i ain't gonna put my hands on you i'm gonna kill you softly like like the food you used to say killing me softly you know what i'm saying killing a kill you got to kill them softly you know not with no song by going on you know what i'm saying that's what you do you go on you leave that trash behind you you know and even after the man dad died you know instead of her comforting him she's comforting somebody else she's she's comforting john michael from down the damn block you feel me instead of being there for her husband so i just want to know what you all think about this and why is always these old funny looking booger bears is always the hottest in the ass you know see what i'm saying a lot of people give good looking people bad reps you feel what i'm saying now i'm not talking about she's uh just stone cold ugly but she do look like a little booger bear by the face because it was like you ought to be glad you got somebody you know in this day and age you know how hard it is for a woman to get a good man a man that'll work and he sound like a stand-up guy you know, he, I ain't know, you know, he might be a jerk on another end, but at the same time, it looked like he, it looked like he was, you know, pretty much taking care of her from what I can, you know, sense and gather together. But I don't understand why people give nice looking people, whether it's a, a very beautiful female or a handsome guy such as myself, you know, give us a bad rep and say, well, them the ones that are right there going to cheat you because everybody want them. How many times you done heard that? And notice there's always an ugly ass person saying that, talking about, uh, because everybody want them. It's, I guarantee you, if you look them in their face like that, I bet you they ugly as hell. Them be the main ones talking shit about people that look good. That's why we have all this damn hate on YouTube. That's why we have all these problems because people are jealous and don't know how to say man. Give me some game. Give me, give me some wisdom. You see what I'm saying? What do I say to her? You know, so hey, to each day on, it just explains why it's a lot of hate in this world. But in this day and age, you ought to be glad to have somebody that's willing to work and be about their business on the grind, they hustle, you know, and take care of home. Because you know how many lazy-ass men and women it is out here? Do you know how many lazy-ass people that it is out here that don't want to do a damn thing but lay up on their ass, lay up on the couch all day and eat snacks and get fat? And then still thinking that you want to hit that. You know what I'm saying? That rhyme too. I told you. Call me bust the rhymes. I just bust rhymes out of nowhere. But anyway, let me know what you all think in the comment section, man. Because this right here only happens to suckers. You know what I'm saying? It happened to good guys too. But you got to be a sucker to sit up here and videotape your wife. That's just like me videotaping my my damn wife. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, how many times How many times did Tyrone uh, hit it from the back, baby? <laughs> But she hit, he hit that thing, he hit that thing. Every night you was going out with your friends, you know, you was out partying and stuff, and I was having a party too, right in this bedroom. So, 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 uh, uh, uh guess what guys really want to ask? So, who, who was better, me or him? Boy, you know it was, you know that's when she was going to lie right then when she paused. She take that deep breath, she go, boy, you know it was, it was you, you was the best. And she like, this little pencil you know what i'm saying but anyway let me know what you all think in the comment section man because this this is a crying shame i don't even i don't know if he was lacking like they say in chicago you know what i'm saying like when you ain't adding up the uh well how can i say this to uh an adequate length you know what i'm saying i don't know if he was uh missing in missing certain things in a certain area or if he just wasn't hitting that spot, you know what I'm saying? He got a G spot down there. You also got a P spot. But anyway, so let me know what you all think in the comment section because evidently something is wrong because I'm telling you, sex, that sex drive is just as strong as hunger. I tell people that all the time. If you're not satisfied sexually, hey, it's going to be some cheating going on. So you better do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to go down there and lick it like that. You know, even though I don't do it, do what you want to do. Do whatever to make your marriage last. But guess what? No matter what you do, and all bullshit aside, 
If a person want to cheat on you, they're going to cheat on you, no matter how good you treat them and what all you do for them. So if you have a person like that, damn, you trying to change who you are at the same time, letting them disrespect you. Let that loser go and find you a person that will, will, that will love you. You know what I'm saying? Like they say, drop that zero and get you a hero. Anyway, this has been your boy Trey. I'm out.